Hey, welcome to Feral Art. Or welcome back to Feral Art. Um, how you doing? Today, I have a 16 by 20 value pack black canvas, which is a little smeary because I had to wipe it off. I've been using this one as my deflector shield for a while, so it has some stuff on the back and that's okay. We don't care. If people are looking at the back, they're looking at the wrong side anyway. So, I have taped it. I did not pin it because of the same problem as I always have with the value pack canvases. My push pins are too long and they poke through the front. So today I have some Amsterdam Onyx Black. I have Chromacryl White. I have Deco Art Champagne. And because I think this is the most deadly boring color ever made, um, I added some Color Art Bling It Gold Sparkle. And then I have some Deco Art Rose Gold mixed with some Deco Art Pearl to make pink champagne, which is almost as exciting as the regular champagne. So to that, I added some color art bling it in violet sparkle. Why violet? Why not? I have Soho Alizarin Crimson. I have Lucas Krill Cobalt Blue Hue. And I have Porage Posse Persian Autumn Yellow. And to those three colors, the blue, red, and yellow, I have added some three-in-one oil. I know, beat me. I don't care. It's a new year. I'm doing stuff different. Don't be thinking I'm going to be adding three-in-one oil to all my stuff. I'm not hardly. I just wanted to do it for this one. Okay? Okay. So let's get down on the canvas to see what's what. Okay, so here's a canvas. First thing I'm going to do is pour me... I just mixed these up a few hours ago, so they should be okay. They're going to be a little, a little air bubbly, I guess, but, you know, what are you going to do? So I'm going to take some of this base color. I'm just going to go around the outside, seal it a little bit, <laughs> mostly on the outside, and a little bit on the inside. We decided for this collab... Um, Brian and Nate and Mina and I, that we should use champagne because it's New Year's Eve. So, um, yeah, we're doing that. So, uh, I'm going to throw a little of that in first. And then I'm going to go with a little white. I'm going to go yellow. And I'm going to go red. Champagne, pink champagne. Blue. More regular champagne and some more white, yellow, lovely pink, looks like calamine lotion. That's what it looks like. Down boy. I'm just going to let that sit there and do its little thing. Now I'm going to twirl. Now I'm going to spread my paint around.
turkey delight. I like this part down here, and I like this part over here. I think this might dry kind of cool, if I can stand it that long. <laughs> Like this I might like it quite a bit I don't I don't know I, silicone and I have a long and storied history I'm gonna leave this alone for a few minutes and let it do its thing and I'll bring y'all back and we'll see what has happened okay here are the wet results of my open cup with champagne and pink champagne and I see a face right there <laughs> that's creepy um, this came out a little galaxy-like, I guess. Um, I'm not sure how I feel about it. I like the red. Um, I like the blue. I like the yellow. I like the white. I like the black. I'm not quite sure about the champagne and the pink champagne. They seem to have made more of a haze than anything else. And I left them nice and thick, so... It's not because they're trying to do that sheen thing. I love this little bit of negative space with the cells in it. I think that is really pretty. Um, yeah, still not too sure about the whole silicone thing. Um, these look like they've got the frog, frog skin pox or something. Um, I mean, I like it as far as a silicone painting goes has some cool spots um i like that right in there and i like i like that i'm just not real sure about these places with the pink champagne and the champagne um where they mostly are since i did use silicone in a couple of my paint colors uh, now that it's dry, I have it sitting under a coating of baking soda, which will help soak up the oil.
slowly we take on Okay, here are the dry results of my <laughs> New Year's Eve champagne toast open cup pour. Um, it turned out I just I just didn't like it. I just didn't. So I decided to embellish it, which I did about to death. Um, I've got these little star clusters uh, inspired by starry night which looked much better on you know a starry night <laughs> and these wind streams that go up and through um what can i say about this i worked really hard on this one and when you start off with something you don't like and you try real hard to make it something that you do like Sometimes you still fall short, but what did I learn from this? Let's see. <laughs> uh, just don't quit, man. Don't be scared and don't quit. So what? You know what? I tried hard. The, the thought behind the thing was good. It's just that it didn't work out. Uh, Should have... Maybe you've done a whole bunch of stuff different, but I didn't, and this is what I got. So, I did, uh, I did a lot of stuff to this thing. It's got a nice sheen to it. It's got a lot of nice things going on. It just, you know, it just isn't to my taste. Um, what did I do that you maybe didn't see? I dry brushed it with this little piggies in velvet and brulee after I got done doing the the glaze which I didn't like however I like it better with the glaze than without I like the sheen I like I like the stars I think they're kind of cute they're really glittery in in real time here um this thing here I don't, I don't know it's an okay painting it's just not to my taste but it has champagne and it has pink champagne and it has hope symbolized by stars and a new wind blowing through so you know i'm not gonna argue with it i've, I've fought with this one enough so underneath all that there is an open cup um 
probably wouldn't put the silicone in it again. It was just for funsies, kind of, and it didn't work out very well. So, anyway, Happy New Year, you guys. Thank you so much for coming along with me um, in this past year that I've been taking this channel seriously. I appreciate all of you so very much. Thank you for your comments and your thumbs ups and your shares and your subscriptions and everything. And I will see you next time. Happy New Year! <laughs>